Hello and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. This time we're going to be talking about what programming is. And programming is, according to Brett Victor, it is a way of thinking, not a rote skill. And what this means is that programming, fortunately for us, is going to restructure your mind. It's going to make you think differently, make you think a lot more logically, as I like to put it. It makes you think about data and how it behaves and how that translates to a computer environment, more so about what is happening at a really abstract level. Although programming has gone really abstract from 30 years ago until now, it is still very much less abstract than what real life is about. So Brett Victor puts it really nicely in that programming is a way of thinking. In order to program successfully, you have to think like a computer to a certain extent. And this is what we're going to be seeing right now. An algorithm is pretty much how a computer thinks. A computer is going to execute a series of steps, and that's it. If you tell it to execute a step, the computer will execute it. If you don't tell it to, or you tell it to execute the wrong step, the computer will execute that wrong step, or will miss the step. So, an algorithm is a series of abstract steps to achieve an objective. So, what we call algorithm now is the description that you as a person would use to describe the task you're doing. When you're programming in the computer, it turns from an algorithm into a computer program. We have an example, an algorithm to make a sandwich. We add bread, we add ham, we add cheese, we add bread again, and then we have a sandwich. Notice how the computer wouldn't know that you have to add bread twice. Or you can't tell it, put ham and cheese between two slices of bread, because the computer doesn't know what between is. So, there you go. So, what is a program? A program is the, as I've said, implementation of the algorithm. And it is the written code that the computer can run. So once you have your algorithm planned out and you have it thought out, you write the code that actually implements the algorithm and tells the computer what steps to do and how to do them. So there we go. Finally, what a programmer is. A programmer is someone who tells the computer how to do something or what to do. And there are many types of programmers. There's database, user experience, web developers, a lot more types of programmers. And there's back-end, front-end developers, and many, many sorts of developers and programmers. What you have to understand is that you don't have to know everything about programming. You start small, developing an application that prints Hello World in your screen. And then, before you know it, you are developing graphical applications, you're developing user interfaces, websites, databases, and all sorts of things. Programming is going to be building up slowly in front of your eyes before you even notice it. So stick with me until the next lecture, and I'll see you then.